Hello, sexto grado. It's me, Miss Nancy. Welcome to your English class. Bienvenido a tu clase inglés, sexto grado. So, it's time to start. Vamos a empezar una nueva unidad en I like it. It's unit number two. Es la unidad número dos. Por lo que de portada vamos a hacer el vocabulary que vamos a ver ahorita. ¿Ok? Entonces, en tu cuaderno vas a escribir... Oh, wait a second. I need to show you. Ok. Wait one more second. Vamos a escribir unit number two y todos los elementos del vocabulary. ¿Ok? So, now we're going to see the vocabulary. Super easy. This unit is going to be about buying. You can see buying, cell phone. What is buying? What is buying? ¿Qué crees tú que es buying? Yes, comprar. Excellent, buying. Tenemos aquí a nuestro amigo Bob Esponja que indica que esto es en el cuaderno. Tienes que copiarlo, ¿ok? So we have buying. You know what is cell phone, right? Cell phone. I'm sorry. We got cheap. Cheap means barato. Look at the price. Mira el precio. It's only two dollars. That's really cheap. Eso está bien barato. Cheap. Earrings. Earrings means aritos. Expensive. Expensive means caro. Look at the price. It's $100. Oh, I mean, it's too expensive, okay? Too, too expensive. So, necklace. Necklace means a collar, necklace. Ring. You know what ring is. Selling. Selling es lo contrario de buying. Si buying es vender, selling es... I'm sorry, si buying es comprar, ah, yo les dije la respuesta. Selling es vender. Ok, so selling means vender. Used. Used means usado. Used. Watched. Watch means reloj. Watched. And that's all. Okay, so that's, um, that's the vocabulary for unit number two, and we are going to repeat it with me. Haciendo la cámara, ahora sí. Cuando haciendo la cámara, tú vas a repetir conmigo, okay? Let's try it. Buy-in. Buy-in. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cheap. Cheap. Earrings, earrings, expensive, expensive. Necklace, necklace, ring, ring, selling, selling, used, used, and watched, watch. Excellent. So now we are going to listen to track number six. And we are going to see if we see some words of the vocabulary. Veamos si encontramos algunas palabras del vocabulary. I can see a necklace here. Oh, a necklace. It's cheap or expensive? It's cheap or expensive? Está barato o caro? What do you think? Oh, it's cheap. Salavalino 50, it's cheap. Okay, we have some earrings in here. Oh, we have um, we have a ring in here. This is a ring. We have a cell phone. We have a bike. Okay, what else? Do you think this is used? ¿Crees que es cosas usadas? Used or new? Yes, it's used. It's a garage. It's the garage sale. Okay? It's a garden sale. Una venta de garaje. Okay? So now we're going to listen to track number six, sixth grade. Track six. Amanda and her brother are having a yard sale at their house. Look at what they're selling. Number one. Necklace. There's a red necklace. 
point to the necklace. Now repeat, necklace. Necklace. Number two, cheap. It costs one dollar and fifty cents. It's cheap. Point to the necklace's price. Now repeat, cheap. Cheap. Number three, earrings. The earrings have red flowers. Point to the earrings. Now repeat, earrings. Earrings. Number four, ring. There's a pink and purple ring on the table. Point to the ring. Now repeat, ring. Ring. Number five, watch. The watch is in a gray box. It's new. Point to the watch. Now repeat, watch. Watch. Number six, expensive. It costs one hundred dollars. It's expensive. Point to the watch's price. Now repeat. Expensive. Expensive. Number seven. Cell phone. There's a black cell phone on the table. Point to the cell phone. Now repeat. Cell phone. Cell phone. Number eight. Used. The books are used. They are not new. Point to the books. Now repeat, used. Used. Okay. Track six. Oh. Okay. So now we're going to continue to the exercise number one. I'm sorry, number two. Vamos a hacer el exercise number two de la página número 14, page 14, exercise number two. So now we are going to complete the sentences. Vamos a completar las oraciones. There's a red, ok, y van en el orden en los que los acabamos de escuchar. So, there's a net necklace, it costs one fifty. it's cheap. The earrings have red flowers. There's a pink and purple ring on the table. The watch is in a box. It's new. It costs what one hundred dollars. It's expensive. There's a black cell phone on the table. The books are used. They are not new. Voy a colocar the working song, and you start to uh, fulfill the sentences. Okay. Okay, let's see the right answers. Vamos a ver las respuestas correctas. Espero que la hayas escrito bien y si no, borramos y colocamos bien las palabras, okay? So, there's a red necklace. It costs $1.50. It's cheap. The earrings have red flowers. There's a pink and purple ring on the table. The watch is in the box. It's new. It costs $100. It's expensive. There's a black cell phone on the table and the books are used. They are not new. Okay, good job. Let's move on to the exercise number three, page 15. Vámonos a la página 15 y vamos a buscar el ejercicio número 3. Okay, so, ¿qué tenemos que hacer in the exercise number three, page 15? ¿Qué es esta? Okay. This is the exercise number three. We are going to fulfill, vamos a chequear qué es, son los elementos que componen a cada una de las cosas que hay en la venta de garage, okay? The books eran cheap, 
or expensive. Eran cheap, barato, or expensive, caro. Hmm? I don't remember. And the books were new or used. Eran nuevos o usados. They were new or used. Okay? You are going to check like this. For example, the books were cheap. Estaban solo un dólar. And they were used. Okay? Así. So, number two, the skateboard. Busca la skateboard en el... Busca la skateboard en la imagen. Let me show you. ¿Dónde está el skateboard? Y tú me dirás, it's cheap or expensive. It's used or it's new. Mm, okay. Luego, the scooter. Same thing. Cheap or expensive. Used or new. You can tell me. Then the bike, if it's cheap or expensive, used or new. And the sleeping bag, the sleeping bag, it's cheap or expensive, used or new. This is the sleeping bag. You can see this? It's a sleeping bag, okay? Esa es la sleeping bag. So it's time for you to work and I'm going to put working sound, okay? Okay, now we're going to see the right answers. Veamos cuáles serán las respuestas correctas. So, the books were cheap and used. The skateboard were expensive and new. The scooter was cheap and used. The bike was cheap and used. And the sleeping bag was expensive and new. Okay, excellent, good job. Vamos a nuestro cuaderno ahora because we are going to copy this part. Aquí está nuestro buen amigo SpongeBob SquarePants and today we are going to see the verb want. Vamos a hablar del verbo want. Want in English means querer, okay? Querer. I want, you want, he wants, she wants, it wants, we want, you want, and they want, okay? Entonces... Vamos a pasar nuestra página luego de la portada que acabamos de hacer con el vocabulary y vamos a copiar the verb want. We have the affirmative, the interrogative, and the negative. ¿Ok? Tenemos aquí cómo se dice de forma afirmativa, like a question, como una pregunta, and the negative form. ¿Ok? So, let's see. I want... I want. Do I want? Do I want? I don't want. I don't want. Okay. You want. You want. Do you want? Do you want? You don't want. You don't want. Okay, this part. And the next part. He wants. He wants. Does he want? He doesn't want. Okay. She wants. Does she want? She doesn't want. It want. It wants. Does it want? It doesn't want. We want. Do we want? We don't want. You want. Do you want? You don't want. Y la última. They want. They want. Do they want? Do they want? They don't want. They don't want. 
Ok. Recuerda copiar the verb want en tu cuaderno, por favor. Vamos a copiarlo todo. Nada de impresiones, por favor. Solo copiar. Y vamos a ver entonces cómo vamos a ocupar estas frases. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver entonces. Puedes ponerle pausa a este video para copiar con calma. Vamos a ver cómo hacemos estas frases. Ok. I want the earrings. I don't want the earrings. Do I want the earrings? Ok, no está tan difícil, ¿verdad? Solamente tenemos que fijarnos muy bien. Let me see if I can show you. ¿Cómo utilizamos el verbo want? El want cambia porque se le pone una S solamente a he, she, and it. Porque son conocidos como las terceras personas. Y las terceras personas cambian en inglés algunas veces. Ok, so this time they are going to see. ¿Ves que aquí dice want? Y aquí dice want. Ok, pero ¿qué pasa cuando se convierte en negativo? Mira, se le quita la S. Luego dicen todos want, want, want. ¿Por qué? Mm, esa es una pregunta interesante. Aparece nuestro buen amigo, el auxiliar do. El auxiliar do es esta palabra y es nuestro buen amigo que nos ayuda cuando queremos decir cosas con el verbo want. El auxiliar do solo aparece en los interrogative y en los negative. En el positive no hay auxiliar do. Mira, no está, no existe, no está. Pero en el interrogative se pone al inicio. Do, do, does, does, does. Porque la tercera persona siempre cambia. Do, do, do. Y luego aquí aparece en negativo. Don't, don't, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't. No te preocupes. Con el tiempo lo vamos a ir aprendiendo, ¿ok? Por eso es interesante y bueno que lo copies en tu cuaderno. So, we are going to see the second part. She wants the cell phone. She doesn't want the cell phone. Does she want the cell phone? Ok, and the last one. He wants... The watch. He doesn't want the watch. Does he want the watch? Está fácil, ¿verdad? Yeah, I know. So, we are going to move on. Recuerda poner pausa. We are going to move on to page 16. Vámonos a la página 16. Let me see. And we are going to listen to track number seven. Vamos a escuchar en el track number seven y vamos a numerar las cuatro imágenes, ¿ok? Vamos a numerarlas todas. So, we are going to listen to track number seven and I'm going to help you, ¿ok? Te voy a ayudar. Track seven. Number one. Good morning. Welcome to my yard sale. My name's Daniel. Do you have any dolls? Yes, I do. Here they are, and they're not expensive. They cost $2. I want one, Mom. Okay, Victoria, you can have one. Number two. This watch is new, but I want a used one. Do you have any used watches? Sorry, I don't have any used watches. Number three. I like that bike. How much is it? It's $10. It's cheap. Number four. I'm thirsty. Do you have any soda? Yes, I do. The bottles of soda are 79 cents. Great. Can I have the green one? Track oh. seven. Oh, okay. Ahora vamos a volver a escuchar el track, pero vamos a develar los... En números correctos, ¿ok? Let me see if I can go for that. Ok. Number one. Good morning. Welcome to my yard sale. My name's Daniel. Do you have any dolls? Yes, I do. Here they are. 
And they're not expensive. They cost $2. I want one, Mom. Okay, Victoria, you can have one. Number two. This watch is new, but I want a used one. Do you have any used watches? Sorry, I don't have any used watches. Number three. I like that bike. How much is it? It's $10. It's cheap. Number four. I'm thirsty. Do you have any soda? Yes, I do. The bottles of soda are 79 cents. Great. Can I have the green one? Ok, con ese track vamos a hacer entonces el siguiente ejercicio. Y es de ordenar, we are going to rearrange the questions. Ok, tenemos ahí una con want y luego tenemos las otras questions acerca de este audio que acabamos de escuchar. For example, what, oh, I'm sorry, what does Victoria want? Es una question, así que agreguémosle el question mark, ¿ok? What does Victoria want? Ok, so let's see number two. Does Daniel have any used watches? Does Daniel have any used watches? Number three, how much is the bike? How much is the bike? Number four, the bike is cheap. The bike is cheap. Number five, who's thirsty? Who's thirsty? And number six, is there any soda? Is there any soda? Ok, escríbelas, coloco The Working Song y luego vemos las respuestas correctas, ¿ok? Ok, let's see the right answers. Oh, y me faltó las respuestas. Ok, so here they are. What does Victoria want? She wants a doll. Does Daniel have any used watches? No, he doesn't. How much is the bike? It's $10. It's the bike cheap? Yes, it is. Who's thirsty? The father is. Is there any soda? Yes, there is. So now it's time for homework. Copy your vocabulary in your notebook. Vamos a copiar el vocabulario en nuestro cuaderno. Send a picture of your pages, of the pages we work in our book. Mándame una eh, fotografía de las páginas, todas las páginas que trabajamos en el libro y en el cuaderno, ¿ok? De la clase que copiamos, del verbo want, de haber dibujado tu vocabulary en tu cuaderno y de las frases que te pusimos de ejemplo del verbo want. Y por último, comment a dinosaur in the class, ¿ok? Cuando subas la tarea, ponme un dinosaurio, ¿ok? So, the class has finished sixth grade. We are going to see each other next class. Bye.